And the Donald Trump hush money trial has begun in New York today with jury selection. Trump has pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records, part of an alleged effort to keep salacious stories about his personal life from emerging in 2016. And for a closer look at this, we're joined live by American historian Alan Lickman. Alan, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, it's good to see you. You know, you and I have talked a lot about firsts for Donald Trump on this show. Here's another one for you, and, and you know this very well. Donald Trump is the first ex-president to go on trial for criminal charges. I wonder what is running through your mind as you watch history unfold in America today. He not only is the first former president to go on criminal trial, he is the first major party candidate to go on criminal trial. So this is something extraordinary in the 200-year-plus history of our republic. Now, I'm not blaming you because it's widespread in the media. It is not a hush money trial. Mm. He is not on trial for paying hush money. It's an election and tax fraud trial. He is on trial for falsely reporting the hush money as though it were a business expense to defraud the American electorate and defraud the government. And in that sense, it's vastly more serious than just paying hush money. And it's similar to the other things he's being on trial for, essentially uh, trying to manipulate illegally election results. You know, if this was anyone but Donald Trump, this would be the trial of the century. And commentators were saying, you know, if he's guilty, it would utterly disqualify him for the presidency or even for the office of door catcher in the United States. And it makes no difference that he may be accused of more serious things. This trial is serious unto itself. Mm -hmm. uh Okay, so that brings me to my next question. Donald Trump has pleaded not guilty, but if he is found guilty in this criminal trial, can you talk about the consequences here, if there are any, from a criminal standpoint, but also a political one? First of all, the most immediate conceivable consequence is whether or not he gets sentenced to jail or prison. He could be sentenced up to four years or simply sentenced to probation or house arrest. Secondly, this will critically affect the presidential election. Uh, those who believe it won't have their head in the sand. You know, a big chunk of diehard Republican primary goers have said that if Donald Trump is convicted of a serious felony, that would disqualify him for the presidency. Well, obviously not all of them are going to follow up on that. Mm. But presuming the race is tight, even a small defection would be fatal to Donald Trump. It just may be too much, particularly for people on the fence who are leaning, you know, one way or the other to vote for someone who is a convicted felon, particularly someone if, he, in fact, he is sentenced to prison. I want to get your thoughts on, on another thing, Alan. Um, Donald Trump could testify. He says he's thinking about it. And that could open the door to a lot of embarrassing questions for the former president, questions about his sex life. Uh, do you think America is prepared for that conversation? I think America is very much prepared for that conversation. You know, let's not forget, it wasn't a criminal case, but it was a civil case in which Donald Trump was found to have assaulted sexually E. Jean Carroll, hurt her, and defamed her. And the judge said, colloquially, it really was rape, although it might not technically be rape under New York law. So if we were prepared for that, we're certainly prepared for further discussions of the sordid sex life of Donald Trump. And certainly sexual assault is not part of a normal sex life, nor is uh, having an adulterous affair, allegedly, with a porn star, you know, while your uh, wife is nursing a newborn. America. American historian Alan Lickman, good to be with you. Thank you. My pleasure. And thank you for watching CP24 Live at News.